it's been a while. I posted something on the YouTube last time, but you know, final year bachelors and making it, or doing working on your thesis uh, takes up a lot of your time and my time and everybody's time. So straight to the point. Since I want my channel to be somewhat informative, uh, because so far I've only had either informative videos or videos about Portugal or informative videos about Portugal. Um, there's another thing I wanted to tell you about and since the application process for this um, congress, conference, forum is now open, uh, I would like to tell my friends, young people like me, not only medical and biomedical students, because this con congress is very um, multidisciplinary, that was the word I was looking for, uh, so, European Forum Albach. I got the chance to uh, participate in this uh, forum, I took um, a part in the professional program in uh, healthcare systems in transition, and um, by receiving a scholarship uh, to go there for free, which is the most relevant part for every broke student, I guess. Uh, and here in this video, I would like to tell you uh, what is European Forum Albach. Uh, why you should apply and how to do it essentially. So, first of all, uh, European Forum Albach is uh, a quite unique event uh, in Europe and it provides uh, learning opportunities and platform for many European professionals from different fields, uh, starting from medicine and healthcare, uh, as well as uh, law and politicians and uh, yeah, as I said, it's very diverse and uh, I would just like to quickly mention and briefly say which kind of uh, learning opportunities does it offer. So essentially there is a seminar week for, for, that lasts for um, a week <laughs> that is composed of uh, seminars on different uh, relevant topics. Um, so each year the forum has one main uh, topic or that focuses uh, on some issue that is uh, persistent and has been uh, heavily discussed in many European countries. This year it's diversity and resilience and the seminar week is going to be um, mostly uh, focused on the financial sciences and the topic of climate change and basically uh, how do we deal with this issue on European level. But apart from that, uh, forum is subdivided into many um, other uh, symposiums. For example, there is an economic symposium, there is law, there is medical symposium that I was attending last year, a political symposium, technology symposium, arts, uh, culture, uh, education. So it's, it's very diverse and um, I think students from many different backgrounds can definitely learn a lot of new um, new things and new information and most importantly um, have a look on the, on the issues that exist in our society uh, from a new perspective because for me the most important and the most the greatest part about every kind of international forum symposium conference is that you really get uh, inspired by professionals by people who have been long time in this field and who can share like a first-hand experience and the views and also um, it's a very mu multicultural and interdisciplinary environment. For example, in my group for my professional program about healthcare, uh, there were people from Austria, Ukraine, Iraq, Brazil, like me, Estonia and uh, like Armenia from many, many different places all over Europe and outside of Europe and uh, we all basically uh, discussed uh, the differences and the issues that we have in the medical and healthcare systems in our countries. How can we, by exchanging knowledge and uh, perhaps influencing policy making process, how can we um, fix and improve these issues and stuff like that. Um, yeah, so it's really, it's great. You should check it out. I'm gonna uh, put the link below. And uh, yeah, and for the students, guys. Uh, Alba offers uh, around 700 scholarships for students and people who can't pay the pretty high participation fee. And um, yeah, and I applied for it last year and I received it and the scholarship covers the participation fee, accommodation, 
uh, food and uh, basically all you have to do is just to pay the tickets to get there to Alba, which is I think affordable for both let's say people from Sweden and from Germany especially and um, yeah what you need to do to uh, get the scholarship is to uh, fill in the form uh, and uh, provide like all of your personal data information but most importantly a motivation letter and also uh, like a short essay on the topic that is um, that is the main topic of the whole forum of the year. So for me last year it was conflicts and cooperation in Europe, uh, something I really knew very little about. So I, I had to like Google and browse the UN website and so on to just to you know had a have a better picture, a more clear picture about what kind of conflicts are going on in Europe and stuff like that. But um, yeah, but everybody can do that, and uh, if you want to uh, go to this kind of cool event, uh, which is fully sponsored for you, I think it's worth the effort to uh, to learn, to Google, and to try to come up with some decent essay and motivation letter, as well as the CV, of course. Um, yeah, uh, why Alva? As I said, last two weeks of August, a uh, great uh, learning environment, absolutely awesome addition to your CV and I mean guys the place is just gorgeous Austrian Alps is something you want to see before you die I swear it's so beautiful in there like yeah it's just amazing and also the forum it uh, lasts for um, two weeks in total but you can just attend the symposium for example which is just three days or the professional program which lasts for one week and you get to have also a pretty awesome cultural program in terms of parties, mountain hikes, and so on and so forth. So it's totally worth it. So yeah, I'm going to link um, the event and the seminar and the video uh, down below. Go check it out, apply, and uh, may the odds be in your favor. Thank you for watching. Bye. Yo, I forgot to mention one more thing. We got the chance to talk to Health Minister of Austria and the European Commissioners in person, like ask them our questions uh, just like one to one. So, um, yeah, as I said, there is like such a great mixture of both the students, like young people who are not that experienced yet and stuff. Uh, basically mixed together in one place with the people who are like uh, world-class politicians and the professionals from different fields and backgrounds and it's just it's just such an awesome blend and yeah that was a really great experience of my last summer <laughs>